welcome to Harris Football's 2022 NFL Draft Prospect Breakdown presented by Viore. I'm your host, Patrick Murray, and today we're talking about Alabama running back Brian Robinson. He's a big back, 6'2", 225 pounds, and he ran a 4.53 in the 40 at the combine. Robinson played five seasons with the Tide in Tuscaloosa. He had to sit behind Damian Harris, Josh Jacobs, and Najee Harris before getting his shot at being the starting running back at Alabama. Of course, all three of those guys are now starters in the NFL. Robinson finally got his chance as the starter in 2021, and he rushed for more than 1,300 yards and 14 touchdowns in 14 games, averaging five yards per carry and breaking the Alabama bowl game record with 204 rushing yards against Cincinnati. Robinson can handle a heavy load. He had six games of 20 or more carries in 2021, including 36 carries against Ole Miss. Robinson is not an explosive big play type of guy. Outside of a 63-yard run against New Mexico State, his longest career rush is 37 yards. He had only seven runs of 20 or more yards in 2021. That tied him for 75th in the country, but he did rank in the top 10 nationally with 40 runs of 10 or more yards. So he's not a big play threat, but he can move the chains consistently. Robinson uses his size and strength to overpower second-level defenders and fight for extra yards. But he's not just a bruiser. Robinson has the burst to explode through a narrow hole, and you can see that acceleration on outside runs too. He has the speed to get to the edge and turn the corner to pick up a first down. One area of Robinson's game that I think is underrated is his elusiveness, particularly near the line of scrimmage and the way he uses his quick feet. On this play, Alabama is running inside zone and Robinson immediately recognizes penetration coming through the left side of the line. As he's getting the handoff, he's already cutting back to open space and then that space is immediately filled by a linebacker. But watch the move here by Robinson. That's a quick little juke there and he turns a one or two yard gain into six yards. Hey guys, producer Dave, I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to Viore for sponsoring this video and all the videos we're making leading up to the draft. Viore makes great active wear out of sustainable materials. They're helping like save the world by using these recycled materials, plastic piles and stuff, somehow turning it into super comfortable clothing that's good for working out or just lounging around in. I say that a lot, but that's because I like to lounge around in comfy stuff. It's really cool stuff. I want you to go check them out. There's lots of colors to choose for and different products. Go to vioriclothing.com slash Harris for 20% off your first order. Like I said, if you want to learn more about them, go check out their story. Read their about me. It's a cool website. It's a cool company and they make great products. It wouldn't matter that they're from recycled products if they weren't great to wear. Go check them out. vioriclothing.com slash Harris for 20% off your first order. Thanks again for them sponsoring this show. Let's get back to Patrick. Thank you, Dave. Getting back to Alabama running back Brian Robinson. Here's a play from the Iron Bowl against Auburn. Alabama's facing a third and nine. They need to get to the 19-yard line for a first down, and Robinson finds the open space with a cutback. Then he's one-on-one -on -one with a defensive back, uses a stiff arm and his strength to basically just run him over, and now he has a decision to make. He's still eight or nine yards away from the first down marker, and instead of cramming it up through the crowd, he bounces outside, sets up his block, and has the speed to get upfield and pick up that first down. Robinson has some good traits that make him an NFL back, but there are some concerns that show he could use some development before stepping into a starting role or becoming a three down back. A couple issues include upright running and inconsistent vision. Alabama is running inside zone here against Auburn, and the Tigers create a problem for themselves with a stunt. This defensive tackle loops to the opposite B-gap, which leaves nobody in the play side A-gap. Robinson needs to hit this hole, and if he can, he could be running for a while. But instead, he runs right into a defender, and he doesn't get his pads low enough to deliver the blow. Remember, he's six foot two, so that makes it a little harder to be the low man. 
Here's another case where Robinson is running a little too upright and he exposes himself to a couple of tough hits. Another area where Robinson can improve his technique is in pass protection. He shows the willingness to get physical, but he tends to throw his shoulder into the rusher. He needs to get his hands involved and engage the blitzer to control him. In the games I watched, I didn't really see anything exciting receiving-wise from Robinson, and he did have the occasional bad drop like you see here, but I did like this play. Credit Bryce Young for really making a spectacular play here, but I like how Robinson doesn't give up on the play. He continues to move with Young, finds open space, gives him an outlet, and converts a third and nine. Overall, Brian Robinson is a solid back with great size, good speed, and quick feet. I don't expect him to make an immediate impact, but I do think he will be a starter down the road. We have lots more videos coming your way in the Harris Football 2022 NFL Draft Prospect Breakdown Series. Please subscribe to the Harris Football YouTube channel to make sure you get a chance to see all of them. And drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Give us your suggestions for any prospects you'd like to see in the series. And thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Please, please, please smash that like button. Write a comment, tell us who else you'd like to see us review film on, and of course, best of all, please subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell above the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video.